Welcome to the Square Takeoff How-To Video Series. In today's video, we're going to calculate total linear foot, wall square foot, and linear cubic yards using the linear tool. Let's get started. Before you can calculate out the total linear foot, you're going to need to go ahead and set a proper scale. To learn how to set a scale, simply watch our How to Set a Scale video located in our How-To Video Series. Once you've set the scale, you can simply select the linear tool located here. When we select this, we can go ahead and enter our information, such as exterior wall. We can select our linear type, and for this example, we'll select standard linear. We can also say that our line width that we're going to draw in here is going to be 4 inches. And then also, too, we can go ahead and select our color. From here, we can type in our price per linear foot. And then we can also raise or lower our transparency. Once again, if you raise it to 10, you won't be able to see the items underneath less transparent. If you lower it to 0, it'll be a lot more transparent, and you'll barely be able to see the line being drawn. So at this point here, let's go ahead and raise it up some. And when ready, let's go ahead and hit start. Once you click your start point, you're going to go ahead and click around. If you'd like to get your line straighter as you're drawing them, underneath the options menu, simply select Enable Ortho. This will allow for you to lock the angles. From here, we can go ahead and start clicking around. Once we've drawn everything that we would like to draw, we can simply go ahead and select either the stop button located in the top. We can hit the escape key on our keyboard, or we can simply just double click. For this example, let's go ahead and hit the stop button. You can now see that our total linear footage here is 217.25 linear feet. Next, let's go ahead and calculate some wall square footages for our interior walls. To do this here, we're going to go ahead and once again select a linear. And we're going to say interior wall, square foot. We're going to then also to select the wall area tool. We're now going to enter a height of the wall, which we know is 10 foot high. And let's go ahead and calculate both sides of this wall. We can enter one side if we only want to calculate one side of the surface. But we can enter two if we want to calculate the surface square footage for both sides. Once again, we're going to select a wall width of 4 inches, which will be the width of the line we're about to draw. And then we can also, too, once again, select a color. At this point, we can go ahead and put in a price per square foot. And then once again, raise our transparency up. Now, we're going to go ahead and click on our start point and go ahead and measure around. When we get to an area that we would like to stop, for example, the, the opening of this door, we can simply double click. And that'll allow for us to skip around and move throughout the plan. Once again, double click to stop your measurement and then allow for you to continue. And there we go. Let's go ahead and hit stop or once again, escape key on our keyboard. And we can now see our square footage here for the items that we've drawn is 1,364 square feet. Now, for the last item, let's go ahead and calculate the linear cubic yards around our footing here for the garage area. At this point here, let's go ahead and hit the linear cubic yard. Let's go ahead and select footings. And next, let's select linear cubic yards. We can now enter the height of this. And we're going to say that the height of this is 1.6 feet. And the width of this here is a total of 24 inches. We can now go ahead and select once again a color. We can go in and type in a price per cubic yard. And once again, we can raise our transparency up. When we're ready, we'll go ahead and hit start. And just as we did with the other, we're going to simply click the start point. We'll now go ahead and click around. And then once again, hit stop or the escape key. And there we go. We can now see that this area that we've just drawn is 10.97 cubic yards. Once again, as we've shown in some of the other takeoff tool videos, you can locate this information here within your takeoff screen. Once you select this, you can simply select HTML or export to Excel. And once again, we're going to export everything, which will include all pages. So let's select export all. And within here, you can now see our pages we were on, the type of measurement, the name of those measurements, 
the quantities that go with this here, the price per and the extended cost. You can also see the colors that are associated with it. And that's it. Thank you for watching today's video.